Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar on uh, how to help you to grow into the person you would like to be. Um, my name is David Mutawanura. I work as the Executive Director of Cavendish University, Uganda. Um, our university has gone for its vision um, to be a model university in Africa that delivers a transformative, market-relevant uh, quality education. And our mission, uh, which explains what we do here at our university, is basically uh, to transform students into responsible, educated, employable, uh, and entrepreneurial citizens. Um, yeah, so two things that I will be doing today is first of all to give you a hint on, um, on how you can grow into the person you would like to be. Um, and then to show you how our university could uh, assist you in that endeavor. Our university is uh, 10 years old. It's located in Uganda, um, even though we have uh, uh, a sister university in Zambia that uh, someone might also consider, uh, as in fact, we have very similar uh, visions. So beginning with... Um, how you uh, could grow into the person you want to be, of course, you would begin by um, looking at um, a self-assessment, like what are your interests, what are uh, your aptitudes, um, what would you like, what do you feel you, ha you are capable of doing, following on which you list uh, the occupations that you think match those interests, and then you research these occupations in terms of uh, the opportunities for work, uh, the earnings potential, if that is a goal, um, and then you can create a quick short list. You, you do further search on these uh, 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 occupations, uh, following on which you make a choice that you think will satisfy you. It is always good to have a choice that um, you have thought about deeply in terms of matching your own capabilities. So upon that, you identify the goals that you want to uh, uh, reach and make a, an action plan. Like, uh, as an example, when do you intend to enroll, uh, which university, etc. So um, how is our university uh, placed to uh, assist you in this endeavor? Um, on, and oh, by the way, I should uh, remind you that at any point you feel like like uh, posing questions, you can you can post them, and I'll be able to revert to you on those uh, questions or comments if you have comments uh, at any point throughout the presentation. Apologies for the late start, uh, but I'm sure that by in uh, in the next forty or so minutes we should have completed uh, this webinar on time as we had set out. So how is our university uniquely uh, placed uh, to assist with your career choices? Uh, first of all, our university um, has got a full-fledged uh, careers uh, division that uh, assists uh, prospective as well as existing students to um, to, to make out their career uh, uh, choices, to assist with career planning. Uh, but beyond that, the teaching and learning that goes on here and the environment, the facilities that we have are all tailored to uh, ensuring that the student remains at the center of what we do. Um, we have got uh, qualified lecturers that are very experienced, that are passionate about education, uh, we've got a, a very unique learning platform that enables um, uh, students to study both in and out of class, uh, that enables uh, chatting uh, with fellow classmates, with the lecturer, uh, etc. We are very responsive to needs, to the needs of our students, um, which is again unique to our university. Uh, including, for instance, having a foundation program for those who might otherwise not have uh, uh, had a chance or opportunity to join a, a, a university 
with 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 uh, the initial qualifications that are, are required, which, uh, as you can imagine, are quite demanding. In Uganda, it is two principal passes. So, if uh, assuming you got say one principal pass, you would have a chance to do a foundation program that would lead you into mainstreaming into the program that you would like to do. Um, yeah, we also have very efficient processes right through registration to class attendance uh, to the point of graduation. In our university, we pride ourselves in the fact that we um, we issue graduation certificates and transcripts on the very the very day of graduation, uh, which, believe me, is not always the case elsewhere. Uh, but above everything is the fact that we are student centric. Everything that we do is tailored around the students. Uh, we offer programs that are market relevant in four, in four faculties. Uh, that is the Faculty of Law, the Faculty of Science, uh, the Faculty of Social Economic Sciences, and the Faculty of Business, both at undergraduate as well as uh, postgraduate level. And we invite you to visit our website and to uh, to, to learn more about the options that are available in the various faculties. Yeah, so I see somebody called Shela Tiongo uh, with a question as to what the enrollment dates are. Yeah, so um, the uh, we have got a January intake that is ongoing um, right now. We are enrolling students into our January uh, uh, intake. And the first day of classes is on the 28th of January 2019. But we invite you to come uh, and, and pay us a visit on our website uh, or physically uh, or by email. Um, and we can give you more information even uh, ahead of the start date uh, so that you're well prepared when classes begin. I have got another question from uh, Paul Ajit that says, do you have PhD courses? Good question there. Um, Cavendish University, Uganda, has not yet uh, uh, started offering PhD courses. Um, yeah, so uh, that is the, the answer to your question. We don't offer PhD courses, uh, but as our uh, operations evolve, it's probably something that we will we could consider uh, at a later date. I need to, straight, to stress, though, that we, we offer uh, postgraduate programs that are non-PhD, and presently we offer a master's degree in business administration with various uh, options including um, banking and finance, entrepreneurship, uh, human resource management, uh, among others. We have got a master's degree in public health as well in our Faculty of Science. We have got uh, a new program, I need to stress this, a new program, uh, the Masters in International, Master of Arts in International Relations and Diplomatic Studies that is quickly gaining traction. And lastly, another new program, the, master, uh, the master's uh, degree in law. Um, yeah, again, we are only one of a handful of universities in Uganda that offers the LLM, the master of laws uh, in Uganda. Um, yeah, so we invite you to uh, 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 visit us on our website for more information. Uh, there is a live chat function that you can engage. We have uh, customer advisors that are on hand to assist you with uh, with any questions or comments that you may have. Okay. Um, Mbatia George has got a question uh, as to whether we have journalism courses. And yes, in fact, we've got uh, uh, journalism courses. We have a, a, a bachelor's degree in journalism and communication studies that is offered in our uh, Faculty of Socioeconomic Sciences. Message uh, Katusime, yeah, answered on my behalf. Uh, that is our Dean of the Faculty of Socioeconomic Sciences. He's, uh, he's live on. He's, uh, 
a very accomplished academic in, in this country. Uh, and thank you, message, Dr. Message Katusimi, for answering on, on my behalf. We offer that program on, um, on two modes. We offer it um, on campus-based, uh, that is day, and we also have it offered on the weekend uh, for our working adult programs. Now, I, I should say we offer programs on three fronts or modes as we call them. We have got programs that are offered uh, on campus. We have got programs that are offered at a distance using the learning platform that I spoke about earlier on. And we also have um, programs that are offered in a blended form um, with uh, both in class and out of class uh, experience um, or learning on your own uh, complemented with, uh, with in-class uh, experience, study experience facilitated by lecturers. Uh, we offer that mainly for uh, sort of mature age uh, students that are able to bring uh, into the class environment uh, rich uh, work uh, experiences uh, that they can complement with, uh, with their colleagues in the same class uh, uh, and they are not uh, starting out uh, afresh. Michael Onsando is asking what the class size is like. Um, yeah, so the class size depends on the on the program that you are you are doing, and even the mode. Typically, if I were to give an example, uh, our campus-based uh, uh, programs tend to be. Uh, bigger, so you could find yourself in a class of 30, 40, 50, uh, 70 uh, students. Uh, our maximum uh, class size would, would be 100, uh, but typically for campus-based, the class size is um, around 40, uh, 50. We do have uh, smaller classes for uh, our working adults because they, they are set up in a sort of uh, a, a boardroom style where uh, uh, which facilitates collaborative learning uh, as I mentioned earlier on for uh, for our working adult uh, classes uh, there is an expectation that the students already have some work uh, experience that they bring into the classroom um, and it is a two-way exercise between the student and the lecturer, but also among the students themselves. Uh, so the classes would be smaller. We, we would be targeting about, uh, not, not exceeding 40 students for our working adult classes. Distance learning, the, 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 it is endless because this is, uh, this is now uh, 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 digital using the platform. So you can have, you can have uh, 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 big classes but we always ensure that um, there is uh, a lecturer that is available to, to offer students in, in uh, lots of 40 students. So it, the, the way we timetable our lecturers is that they should be able to serve uh, 40 uh, or 50 students, even if they were on distance learning. Uh, uh, and if, if the class is bigger, then we would have to double the the facilitators that are available, or the lecturers that are available uh, to teach. And Michael, you're asking whether you could get individualized attention from the lecturers. Yes, we, as I mentioned earlier on, we're a student-centered university. So um, yeah, attention to the student is key. Uh, meaning, first of all, that the lecturer is, is always on time, uh, to teach. If they were not available, they would, uh, they would uh, inform the class and or arrange for somebody to be available. Um, course guides are issued for every student uh, and those course guides show what the syllabus is uh, and, and what uh, specific subjects are going to be undertaken every week uh, of the term. Now, the way it works is that course guide also has got uh, the contacts of the lecturer. So in case uh, 
uh, a student would like to engage with this with the with the lecturer you could always do that uh, at certain uh, set times that are advised by the lecturer of that uh, of that course uh, and our students i must say have reported to us with great satisfaction uh, how they are assisted by our lecturers again recall i mentioned earlier on that one of the distinguishing features for our university is the fact that we are student centered so we pay close attention to our 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 students. Pagan Monk asks, how flexible is the working adult programs in terms of time zones? Yeah, so our, our working adult program um, includes programs that are offered in the evening or weekend. So in the evening, this would be from 5.30 to uh, 9 o'clock, 9.30. And on the weekend, it would be from 8 to 5 p.m. Um, but recall, I said the working adult program is, is, is blended. So it means there is opportunity for class, uh, in-class learning, as well as uh, out-of-class learning uh, using a, a gadget, uh, a tablet that is issued to you, preloaded with materials that you need to, to, to use throughout your study time. Um, we encourage the working adult program for students that are located within the vicinity, the vicinity of our, our campuses. We've got a campus in, uh, in, in, uh, in Zambia that is uh, opposite the American Embassy, where we offer our, our working adult programs that are, uh, do not include the, the uh, Bachelor of Law. The Bachelor of Law is offered at our campus in Kamocha um, and yeah so we are flexible to the extent of evening and weekend and being able to serve students uh, that are that work or live within the vicinity the vicinity of uh, of Kampala Brian Obrindo asks that I'm a distance learning student but seek uh, and he says he, he didn't apply for a dead year. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's asking whether he could resume in January. Yes, in fact, you can come back, uh, visit our enrollment office uh, uh, anytime from now, right up to uh, 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 early February, and you will be assisted to resume. Kimanzi Kingoto asks, do you have any plans of having a campus in Kenya soon? Um, well, Cavendish University, Uganda, as the name suggests, is uh, currently focusing its gaze uh, on Uganda. Um, yeah, but we are part of a, a Pan-African set of universities. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, we have uh, a sister university in, uh, in Zambia. For those who uh, have got Zambia as a more uh, a convenient uh, location for study, and uh, yeah, our evolving interests could land us in Kenya at some point. So Kimanzi, uh, uh, keep hopeful. Uh, but you could also study at a distance. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, when we have a very unique and proprietary uh, learning platform that is fast in this market. Um, that you could uh, apply to, to, to join um, and study like our colleagues who are in many parts of Africa and are currently being well served by, uh, by our distance learning uh, uh, method. Sam Ofula, I see you offer health sciences in your program. Which hospitals have you partnered with? Yeah, so health sciences are mainly, uh, we offer public health and environmental health. And, and, and uh, just to explain to you, this is not medicine. Yeah, so um, we have not per se partnered with um, any, uh, any hospital, but um, our, because we are practical, we've got a, a laboratories, health uh, science laboratories, to ensure that the student uh, 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 gains practical skills in health sciences. We also do a lot of field work um, where we take our students to be exposed to public health or environmental health situations 
uh, be they hospitals or, or other uh, uh, public health environments. Uh, it could be a refugee camp, it could be a, it could be a, a garbage uh, disposal facility. Um, yeah, so we do have a field work for that. Uh, it's not like we have partnered with a specific uh, 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 hospital, and certainly uh, I, I, I thought I should distinguish this from, uh, from medicine. Ahmed is asking about Master of Public uh, Administration and Management. Yes, this is a new program that, sorry, we do not offer a Master of Public Administration and Management, although we have a new program, um, uh, the Bachelor of Public Administration and Management. Uh, but I do invite you to sample our master's degree in business administration, which is uh, uh, very similar to public administration and management and certainly very competitive. It is one of the, of the programs that we see a lot of interest from many parts of, uh, of uh, Africa uh, uh, from students that would like to join our university. And that's offered uh, on, the, on the even on the weekend. Jeff Mayanja, I want a bachelor degree of commerce. Yeah, so um, we do not offer the bachelor's degree in commerce, but we offer uh, a program that is very market relevant uh, and very similar to the uh, bachelor's degree in commerce. And this is the bachelor, the bachelor's degree in uh, business administration. Again, very competitive. Um, it attracts a lot of students from both Uganda and the African region. Yes, there is ACT, uh, ACT, ACTC, you, you offer Master of Arts in International Relations and Di Diplomacy. Please pr prove us right that MIRD is accredited by NCHE. Well, uh, good point. I need to say that the programs we offer at our university, all of them um, are accredited. So the programs that we offer, again, unique to our university is... Uh, that they are not only market relevant, means we do a lot of uh, studies to ensure that uh, these programs will get you into employment as well as uh, entrepreneurship for those who would like to be uh, to start their own uh, enterprises, uh, but that they are also accredited. The programs are all accredited. Mary Wambui, what kind of internship and student uh, faculty research opportunities do you offer? Uh, all our bachelor students have got to do internship. And um, I mentioned earlier on that we have a careers office which coordinates with the uh, teaching staff to ensure that every student has got an opportunity to do internship. We have got certain organizations that we have partnered with uh, to facilitate internship. And uh, yeah, you can always be rest assured uh, that you will get internship which is an opportunity for uh, having uh, a, a practical uh, experience during your study time at the university. Um, as from January intake, all our students will have uh, uh, a course that is supposed to enable them uh, at the point of employment or entrepreneurship when they graduate, um, that is, uh, is called cubicle. Um, but essentially it tests uh, your ICT skills, particularly uh, uh, PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, which as you can imagine, presentation, computation, um, uh, analysis, uh, these are skills that are very, very important today for, um, for employability as well as uh, uh, entrepreneurship. So that is a, a requirement as part of every student completing their internship, that new um, course uh, on ICT uh, uh, or Microsoft Office uh, is part of the necessity for internship. Yes, I see uh, Mulenga Makei Mwansambamba is thanking me, uh, a, a round of applause. Thank you very much, Mulenga. Shela Tiongo is asking about scholarships, whether we offer any scholarships. Yes, our university uh, uh, is, uh, is well known now for offering scholarships. Um, as from 2017, we have offered uh, almost 150 scholarships, uh, full, fully paid uh, uh, scholarships for tuition and fees. 
Uh, and this January intake will be uh, offering 20, uh, 25, 20 uh, scholarships as a matter of fact. Um, although I believe that the window has closed, uh, but uh, whoever is interested in scholarships could still explore uh, our, our university web portal uh, for the opportunities in May as well as in September. Isaiah uh, says my university. Ah, okay, great to know that you are a student. Brian Obrindo says he is enrolled at our university but would like to inquire if they could do their exams uh, from Gulu. Yes, this is this is possible. You can do your exams in Gulu. We've got um, outreach uh, centers in uh, in uh, Soroti, Gulu, and Barara, and in these locations, you would be able to enroll as well as uh, undertake your exams uh, whenever it's time to undertake exams. Yeah, so in this way, we create flexibility and attend to your convenience to ensure you don't have to travel. Um, long distances uh, and burn your time which we know we all have short supply of and then somebody uh isaiah says how about a student transfer from bit to telecommunication um so we currently offer bachelor of it um in our portfolio of programs um we do not offer the but we do not offer for new students, uh, telecommunication engineering, even though it's a program that uh, is currently uh, being uh, taught out. So it would be difficult to transfer into telecommunication from BIT as of the present moment. Malik Agar, um, yeah, uh, uh, the question is not clear. Uh, Michael Kanja says that uh, upon completion of distance learning, does one have to physically come to the university for their degree certificate? Um, well, you don't have to come physically for your degree certificate, but you need to ensure that you have somebody that can assist you with um, with uh, clearing with, with the university, you know, to ensure that you have cleared uh, your fees. Uh, in fact, you uh, attended class, you did all the requisite exams uh, of assessment, and that you are eligible to graduate uh, upon fulfillment of that clearance, uh, which somebody can do on your behalf, uh, if you request, uh, you would you would you would then be able to to have that uh, emailed, uh, sorry, mailed to you, uh, or somebody could pick your certificates on your behalf. But we always encourage you to come and attend graduation because it's always colorful. It's an opportunity to to learn, to prepare yourself for your new world of uh, uh, employment uh, or private enterprise uh, and, and the chance to interact with your uh, uh, student colleagues, your faculty, the university administration, um, our chancellor who as uh, some of you may know is, uh, is uh, the former president of the Republic of uh, Tanzania, uh, His Excellency Benjamin Mkapa um, yeah, and we always get many other visitors to our university uh, during graduation. So I would encourage you to make an effort to come to our, our graduation. Brian Obrindo is the, he has a question that is there any scholarship for students coming from Northern region and sports talented uh, students? Yes. Um, our scholarships are open primarily to Ugandans, but we also have scholarships that are uh, ring fenced for South Sudan. We have two scholarships at the moment that are ring fenced for South Sudan. We've got uh, the Chancellor's Scholarship that is uh, ring fenced to citizens of uh, uh, the United Republic of Tanzania, where our Chancellor, uh, His Excellency Benjamin Mkapa, uh, uh, hails from. Um, yeah, but uh, primarily the, the scholarships are uh, offered to Ugandans, save for those that I have mentioned. But we welcome students from uh, from all over the world. Our university, as uh, the last time I counted, had 22 nationalities, uh, from uh, Ethiopia to Eritrea to Nigeria to Gambia, Sierra Leone, Liberia, 
Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan, we have a big student community, Tanzania, uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe, India, the US, the UK. Yeah, it's a very exciting uh, student um, yeah, environment, uh, which uh, people can profit actually to uh, make big contacts uh, uh, for the future. Okay. Yeah, so um, we have 10 minutes to go to the end of this, uh, this uh, session. The very first of uh, a couple of webinars that will be uh, running around various themes, uh, but primarily focusing on how university can prepare students for success in the future. As I mentioned earlier on, our university is uh, very much focused on transformation of the student uh, to ensure that uh, whatever your background, as long as you're eligible to uh, uh, undertake university studies, you can be transformed into a responsible uh, person uh, that is uh, educated. And here I am talking about an education that goes beyond uh, subject uh, spe specific skills to other skills like uh, digital skills, communication skills, active learning, uh, lifelong learning, uh, working in teams, uh, etc. Then, of course, to ensure that you, in that way, you are prepared for uh, uh, employment. And if you would like to set up your own enterprises, that you can also uh, set up your own enterprise. Yes. Um, again, uh, reiterating that uh, our university keeps the student at the heart of everything that we do um, in terms of response, in terms of uh, uh, catering to the individual needs of the student. That's why we have uniquely uh, uh, a number of modes of study uh, from campus-based to distance learning to blended forms for working adult uh, yeah, that, that cater to the interests, needs, uh, uh, convenience, flexibility of our individual students. I wanted to shed a bit more light on our working adult program. So our working adult program is, um, is a set of uh, programs that are bachelor programs that have been uniquely designed to cater to the working adult. We all know that uh, we need to work um, if we are to make ends meet, uh, and especially for those that uh, didn't have a chance earlier on to, uh, to have a bachelor's program, or uh, for those who would like to uh, switch gear into a different uh, uh, line um, of career path. Um, say somebody has got a, a, a degree in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, business administration, but they would like to pursue a career in law. Uh, so obviously, they, they probably have uh, working experience in, uh, in, uh, in the business environment, uh, but they think that they could benefit with uh, new skills in, uh, in, uh, in law. We have uh, our, the Working Adult Program. Currently, we have got uh, programs in, uh, in, in law, in, uh, in uh, public administration and management, in uh, public health, in journalism and communication studies, in IT, and in business administration for our working adult students. Um, and we have got, um, these programs are unique also in the sense that they are taught by industry practitioners. So you come into the class and you, you gain from uh, the real practical world people that have made it uh, uh, in, the, in the world uh, of work uh, and, and that bring a very uh, practical experience into the classroom environment, in addition to uh, the fact that you, you, you have a gadget or the tablet that you can, uh, you can access study materials with uh, and study on your own at your own convenience uh, out of the classroom. The classes are offered in the evening and on the weekend, but like I said, you have the tablet um, and you can in fact access the study materials 
uh, even on other uh, online platforms if you have got uh, uh, you can you can access through our our web portal but also um, using your own laptop uh, or desktop in your own uh, uh, location wherever you are you can access the, the study materials file k uh, says that uh, he was unfortunate uh, at a level and obtained one principal pass and is wondering whether we have a bridge whether we have bridging courses that would enable them to join university and how on how long it would take and what are the requirements this is a very important question as we come towards the end of our uh, our session um, we offer a program called foundation this program is for those who, who did not obtain the two principal passes, which is the requirement for them to, uh, to undertake university education in Uganda. With this program, if, if you have one uh, uh, principal pass, uh, you can enroll on it, uh, and it will help you to prepare you for full-fledged uh, uh, university education. It is, it is well crafted in terms of content to cater for both uh, people that are interested in career paths in sciences as well as arts, and it takes one year or two semesters for a student to complete and be eligible to start out uh, either a, a, at a diploma level or a, bachelor, a bachelor's level, depending on how they would have performed. And we encourage it uh, for both Ugandans and non-Ugandans. Uh, for non-Ugandans, we would have to equalize their, their uh, uh, academic credentials to assure that they are eligible uh, to undertake it um, at our university. Again, uh, now that uh, uh, Falke has asked that question, we ha I thought that I should explain to you about the various levels of education that we offer and tying in with uh, the earlier comment on PhDs. So we offer programs at uh, certificate level. We have got the foundation program that I've just explained to you a short while ago. We have got programs at diploma level. We have got uh, programs at bachelor, uh, bachelor level, as well as postgraduate level uh, uh, at master's. Um, just to run you through the menu of the programs that we have. So we have the foundation program, we have two certificate programs, one in IT and the other in business. We have got um, di two diplomas in uh, IT as well as in business administration. And then at bachelor's level in the, in the faculty of business administration, we've got bachelor of business, business administration. Um, then in science, we have got uh, a bachelor's degree in IT, in IT. We've got a bachelor of computer science we've got a bachelor's degree in public health we have got a bachelor's degree in environmental health sciences which is very popular um, then in the faculty of law we have got the bachelor's degree in law um, in the faculty of economic socioeconomic sciences we have got a bachelor's uh, bachelor of arts degree in international relations and diplomatic studies we have the new program of bachelor's degree in uh, in uh, public administration and management. Then we also have the, the bachelor's degree in journalism and communication studies offered in the social economic sciences. At master's level, we have got uh, a, a, a master of laws offered in the faculty of law. We've got a new degree in um, international, master's degree in international relations and diplomatic studies. Um, we have got a bachelor, a master's degree in uh, business administration that is offered in the uh, faculty of uh, business administration. And uh, in the faculty of science uh, and technology, we have got the master's degree in public health. Uh, that sort of gives you a picture of the 18 programs that we offer at our university. These are all programs that are that are uh, well researched to ensure that they are meeting the needs of today as well as tomorrow's uh, working environment. We are uh, coming towards the end of the webinar. 
This is the first of a couple of uh, many webinars that we'll be having uh, of this kind uh, to uh, touch base with our students, prospective students, answer questions, um, and encourage enrollment to our university. Um, we will be having uh, many people uh, from our university, from faculty to administration, uh, facilitating these uh, webinars. Um, and on behalf of the university, particularly the Vice Chancellor, Professor John Francis Mungisha, uh, I wish to uh, take this opportunity to wish you a very, very uh, 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 enjoyable festive season, beginning with Christmas and then the New Year, and to remind you that uh, we are open for business uh, shortly after Christmas um, and right into the New Year with our January intake uh, where um, you can, you can uh, explore your opportunities uh, to study at our very transformative university um, in the various programs that I have highlighted to you a short while ago. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, our time is up. Apologies again today for the late start. Uh, yeah, we had a glitch, but I'm happy that uh, I've been able to answer to all the questions and, uh, and comments that were posed to me today. Uh, and I wish you the very best, encouraging you to uh, visit us on, uh, on Facebook, on, uh, on our various social media uh, channels, uh, Twitter, uh, and our website, where we have got student uh, uh, advisors uh, that can attend to you with our live chat. Uh, but you could also self-serve running through our pages we have a very uh, uh, navigable website that should be able to serve you as you please. Thank you very much again, and you have yourselves a great day and uh, a great festive season coming up. Thank you.